Have you ever played or, or conducted Bach? Honestly, as a BIPOC, pangender person, I would say Bach's misogynistic life makes it kind of impossible for me to take his music seriously. Drum. What, what, do you, what do you mean by that? Well, didn't he sire like 20 kids? Yes, that's documented along with a considerable amount of music. But I'm sorry, I'm, I'm unclear as to what his prodigious skills in the marital bed have to do with B minor. Sure. All right, whatever. That's, that's your choice. I mean, after all, a soul selects her own society. But remember, the flip side of that selection closes the valves of one's attention. Now, of course, Siloing what is acceptable or not acceptable is a basic construct of many, if not most, symphony orchestras today who see it as their imperial right to curate for the Cretans. So slippery as it is, there is some merit in examining Max's allergy. Can classical music written by a bunch of straight Austro-German church-going white guys exalt us? individually, as, as, as well as collectively. And who, may I ask, gets to decide that? You know, what about Beethoven? You into him? Because for me, as a U-Haul lesbian, I'm, I'm not too sure about old Ludwig. But then I face him, and I find myself nose to nose with his magnitude and inevitability. Come on, Max, indulge me. Let's allow Bach a similar gaze. Sit. Now this is all filigree, right? I mean, it could be a first year piano student. Or Schroeder playing for Lucy. Glenn Gould, for that matter. <laughs> now, it's not until it changes. You get inside it that you hear what it really is. It's a question. And an answer. Which begs another question. There's a humility in Bach. He's not pretending he's certain about anything. Because he knows that it's always the question that involves the listener. It's never the answer, right? Yeah. Now, the big question for you is, what do you think, Max? <sighs> you play really well. But nowadays, right? Male cis composers, just not my thing. Don't be so eager to be offended. The narcissism of small differences leads to the most boring conformity. I guess Edgar Varese is okay. I mean, no, like, Arcana, anyway. Oh, well, then you must be aware that Varese once famously stated that jazz was a Negro product exploited by the Jews. Didn't stop Jerry Goldsmith from ripping him off for his Planet of the Apes score. It's kind of a perfect insult, don't you think? But you see, the problem with enrolling yourself as an ultrasonic epistemic dissident is that if Bach's talent can be reduced to his gender, birth, country, religion, sexuality, and so on, then so can yours. Now, Someday, Max, when you go out into the world and you guest conduct for a major or minor orchestra, you may notice that the players have more than light bulbs and music on their stands. They will also have been handed rating sheets, the purpose of which is to rate you. Now, what kind of criteria would you hope that they would use to do this? Your score reading and stick technique or something else? All right, everyone, using Max's criteria, let's consider Max's thing. In this case, Anna Thorvald's daughter. Now, can we agree on two pieces of observation? One, 
that Anna was born in Iceland, and two, that she is, in a know, Waldorf teacher kind of way, a super hot young woman. Show of hands. All right, now let's turn our gaze back to the piano bench up there and see if we can square how any of those things possibly relate to the person we see seated before us. Where are you going? You're a fucking bitch. And you are a robot. I mean, unfortunately, the architect of your soul appears to be social media. You want to dance the mask, you must service the composer. You got to sublimate yourself, your ego, and yes, your identity. You must, in fact, stand in front of the public and God and obliterate yourself.